a world where the sun never shines, and he seeks that which eludes him. One man, one desire. He wanted immense amounts of wealth, and nothing could stop him. To roam the vast black horizons of the Untersee, he and his band of valiant men will risk life and limb in the pursuit of grandiose wealth. Will they succeed? Find out in another episode of APOC Plays Sunless Sea. Hello guys and welcome back to another APOC Lord Let's Play. Now this game I'm about to show you guys is called Sunless Sea. It is beautifully designed, steampunk. You play in essentially an underground sort of uh, Victorian England uh, steampunk style. It's got a bit of micromanagement, you have to build a crew, and it's really interesting. So, I think I'll just go ahead and get started here. Alright, so this is uh, some something new. The much lamented M. Demu found a watery grave long, long ago. Probably your end will be no better, but if you read this book of invaluable advice, your chances will improve. Let's see. Eh, you know, I feel like I uh, don't really want to read that. Nah. Then, uh, let's go visit London. Let's go ahead and visit the Admiralty Survey Office. They'll pay for information from Z Captains, find out what and how. The Admiralty's picket fleets and intelligent networks are long gone. The Survey Office pays Z Captains a small sum for recent information. Speak to our agent there and return. We'll see that you're rewarded. Okay, so this one retrieve strategic information from the Iron and Misery Company funging station somewhere not far from home waters. So I gotta find that place while I'm out and about. Ask to speak to a higher authority. Not as such. Once you've proven yourself, perhaps. Let's leave the Admiralty then. Let's see. I don't really need more crew. No, it would cost me another 30 echoes. I don't really want to use those. An immigrant will pay to be taken north to Vendorbright. She, uh, she's the greatest city in the on the Untersea, and don't you forget it. That's London. Offer passage to a tomb colonist. And it's oddly difficult to die and fall in London, but when a Londoner is too tatty and ra wretched to live, they wrap, wrap themselves in bandages and take ship for the co tomb colonies. Your crew part, cart these ones aboard in padded coffins. They'll sleep there until the journey is done. Now, yeah, why not? And let's go ahead and visit the shop. Let's see. Need to get me some more supplies. Can never go wrong with more supplies. So now we'll have six, seven, and we'll buy one more barrel of fuel. Flares may be used to reveal your enemies, increasing the speed of your firing solution. Yeah. Alright. With that in mind, let's go ahead and launch. Full steam ahead!
mission I took said that I needed to head north. So we'll go ahead and head that way. Now one of the things I really like about this game is, uh, let's see, after a short time it's see a lamp icon will appear after, above the logbook. It means the opportunity is waiting for your next port. Let's go ahead and stop in here at uh, Hunter's Keep. I have a little bit of experience with this game. Um, when I played it I hadn't quite yet made an account for the website, so I didn't have much that I could do with it. But now I've got new stories to explore and things like that. But to start my Let's Play, I'll just do one of the standard. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and disable tutorial because this is annoying that it keeps popping up. The air carries the scent of salt and shadows. Let's see. Hunter's Keep. A hump of dark rock swathed in mist like a hundred of other Hunter's Z islands. But here's a grand house, windows aglow, lawns and possibly green and lush in the false starlight, raked of gravel paths. You stand on the dock as the, as the sea nudges the ship's sides. An unexpectedly warm breeze carries the faintest trace of lavender. How shall I proceed? Present myself to the house, walk in the gardens, uh, recon, re reconnoiter the island, plunging cliffs, soft green lawns, a well tucked away... A well tucked away in a fold of the grounds. Anything else? Let's see. I think we'll go ahead and present myself to the house. A maid with smoldering topaz eyes shows you into the parlor where three young women await. A visitor, the youngest cries, the, yo the next youngest chuckles, the eldest sighs. Do excuse, do excuse the indocorum. She says, visitors are rare. You are very welcome. I am Cynthia. The noisy one is Phoebe. The cheerful one is Lucy. You are in good time for lunch. Will you join us? Uh, let's see. I think I'll lunch in with Cynthia. She seems like she's pretty pleasant. Cynthia is the eldest, melancholy, pensive, occasionally dramatic. Cynthia grasps your arm and whispers to you. Her eyes are wide and blue. Her hair is wild and tangled. Bats might nest in it. It seems you, to you that you are sitting on a hillside above a wide blue lake, listening to a story of a murder, an axe, a net, blood on scented water. Another chop, Cynthia asks. You've barely touched your food here. I'll have the maid wrap something up for you. You can't be hungry. It's not safe to be hungry. So we've lost 40 hunger, gained acquaintance with the sisters of Hunter's Keep, an occurrence. You're the gods of the Z, Salt's attention quality is now. Uh, iron remains unchanged at 50. You now have one tale of terror, gained one terror, gained one supply. Go ahead and reconnoiter the island. Ships rarely come here. Nothing changes, even the weather. The house is the heart of the Isle of the House and the Sisters, but the Admiralty may be happy to know that nothing's changed, at least. So that was to get a bit more information for that for the Admiralty. The, the parlor is empty. Where are the sisters? The maid makes it clear through a series of unwelcomed growls that Phoebe, Lucy, and Cynthia are all three are indisposed. No lunch today, apparently. Alright then.
Alright, I'm getting attacked from three different sides here. did not pitch so abominably, a man grows bored, you know, death is dull, deathly dull, and so forth and so forth. It is a relief when the coffin lid closes, if only you could nail it shut. Lost one supply. God damn, getting wrecked here. Oh, oh, now you want to run, huh? Now you want to run? Come over here? Wrecking up my party? Now you want to run? Gotcha, bitch. Find spider silk in London, of course. There are troubles there with sorrow spider infestation like anywhere in the Neath. But for the real quality, you need to go east for, to the Kanate or to the fang bristling fastness of Savior's Rock. I now have one bolt of spider silk. That was kind of depressing. My ship took some major hull damage. I can't even repair it now. I have to hope that I have enough echoes when I get the port to cover my ass. Gather up the corpses, gained one terror and one supply. Then we gotta go after that crab thing. game froze. There we go. One last fight. Your passenger has been drinking. Ahoy, she chortles. Defend yourself. She launches a tipsy assault. Your crew hang back, chuckling. Thanks, crew. A straightforward challenge. Your iron quality gives you a 100% chance of success. 
Your passenger is uh, an effortless defense. Tomb colonists have a lifetime of bitter experience. Some of them are the deadliest combatants under the earth. Possibly this one is. When she hasn't drunk, or when she hasn't drunk quite so much rum, you'll never know. She salutes you, laughing after you disarm her. Good fight, she spine, she opines. Then she staggers backwards and falls over the side. You never do find what happened to her, but at least you have her rather magnificent cavalry saber and her belongings. Gained one iron, lost one tomb colonist, gained two supplies, and succeeded an iron challenge, brought a tomb colonist to vendor bite, and defeated them in an unexpected duel. And I now have one outlandish artifact. Alright, let's go to the shipyard first. Um, okay, let's see. I gotta figure out where to go to put my ship in dry dock. Let's see, this is the first curator, explore vendor bright. I really need to repair my ship. On deck, you can hear the sound that a thousand bandaged dead make as they shuffle and cough. It's something like the world's most restless concert audience, or the world's most plague-ridden cathedral. Here they favor candlelight over gaslight. The shadows are swagged with cob like cobwebs. The tomb colonists stand still enough to be mistaken for sculpture until they laugh or cough. One building and three seems abandoned. A withered garden. Dead fir trees have carpeted a little park with old brown needles. A little group of tomb colonists stands around, another lying on a bench. Unexpectedly, you find yourself reminded of physicians and midwives at a birthing, a birthing couch. The colonist on the bench, he, uh, he's old, withered to sticks, groans horribly, though the fir needles deaden the sound. Something moves in his chest, like a sea creature surfacing or a butterfly reaching a cocoon. The other colonists spot you and close ranks around him. Stay, stay back, Silkskin, one hisses. This is his breaking out. Your time will come. There is a kind of rap, rap, rapture in her voice. Gained 15 fragments. One tale of terror and gained another terror. Let's see. Gather gossip. Who's plotting what out in the tomb colonies? Along the coast of the Hunter Z, it's remarkably hard to die. The decrepit and nearly dead who leave London become tomb colonists and settle here in bandaged peace. But they don't give up their ties to home or their politics. You, are, you're, you gather a hall of complex clues, enough to keep your contacts in London interested. I've gained one port report for Venderbite. Visit the curator. Z captains, the first curator gives audience. The first curator is responsible for the preservation of the tomb colonies. It has been here much longer than London, like all the oldest tomb colonists. But even tomb colonists dissolve in the end. Its time is close. No more light. The obsequious uh, steward cautions you. The curator is terribly afraid of moths. He opens the door and you step into, dear, into near darkness. A pair of luminous lamplighter bees buzz in a latticed ivory tube. There is no other source of light. A bandaged shape no larger than a child lies crumpled on a couch. It lifts its head with obvious effort. It takes several seconds for you to distinguish its voice from the soft buzz of the bees. Let's go ahead and listen to the whispered request. Z Captain Silkskin, not much left of me, I will go. Into the Grand Sanatorium, bring me colors. Seven colors, pay well. Cosmogon, Irigo, Pelagon, Steward has list. Find them there, here and there, across the wide black Z. 
I will go ahead and accept. Thank you, this poor flesh thirsts for colors. It collapses, rustling back onto the couch. Even the effort of speaking seems to have diminished it a little. The audience is over. As the door opens, it shrinks from the finger of light that reaches across the floor. Outside, the obsequious steward nods. The book? Yes, the book. He hands you a slim, illustri illustrated volume. The curator is old, old as dust. We will all be grateful if you do this one la do it this one last favor. You now have one page of the Neathbo Pelagon, Irigo, Verric, Violet, Epocian, and one the the Neathbo. You now have one of this, a page from the Neathbo Gant and Cosmogon. All right, shops. Ooh. We shouldn't need any more fuel. I have eight supplies. Hmm. I'll just go with what I got. Head back to London. Jesus, the bat swarm spawn spawned practically right on top of me. So I'll probably add some music to this uh, during the editing process, just to kind of fill in the gaps. Uh, I noticed I got a lot more views on my episode where I did that in. A rock breaks the water like a surfacing sea beast. No, it is a sea beast. No, it's a rock. It's not a boulder, it's a rock! We're saved. changed in the neath. Someone wants to sign on. A little gift. A very, a very fine evening to you, Captain. Oh, wow, that's a shady motherfucker. A very fine evening to you, Captain. My what you might call, my what you might call mentor is very fond of adventurous sea captains, and he would like to offer you what you might call a disposition. Dim, dispensation. On account of he is so fond of sea captains. Behind the blind bruiser on the dock stands a dray piled high with fuel and supplies. Accept the dispensation. Do you make your 
sure you have 15 points of space. Do make sure you have 15 points of space in the hold or come back later. It would be embarrassing to have to leave it on the dock. Inquire further of who is this patron and is there a catch, or I could refuse. I'll accept it. You know, because I'm bold. Well, my patron hopes that you find these little gifts to your liking, and he expects that perhaps someday you might choose to call on him at the Medusa's head. Should that day come, we will make you very welcome and give you any safe conduct what you might require. Good evening to you. I gained one Menaces Suspicion, uh, ten fuel, nice, and five supplies. Let's go to London. Visit the Admiralty's office. Report in about Hunter's Keep. I trust the sisters are keeping well. They are citizens of her enduring majesty, not notionally. Gained one fuel. Sweet. One favor. And no longer have a port report. And gained five echo. Report about vendor bite. Gained another fuel, another favor, and ten echoes. And we'll go ahead and speak to a higher authority. Or maybe I won't. Let's see. Carouse and wolf stack docks. This will reduce your tower terror you might run into trouble or romance Let's see hire on some more crew I'm so good on that a new recruit who awaits your attention engage an officer the presbytery adventurous afternoon captain looking for a gunnery officer I'd like to help you blow up some monsters if you'll have me the adventurous is a gunnery officer who increases iron and veils and no more than okay okay so I, I don't I can't pick that one let's see engage a zailer what a desperate desire what desperate desires led this one to sign on who cares they're very keen consequently they're cheap or engage an officer, the irresponsible can cannoneer. Captain, are you looking for a gunner? I'm looking for a ship. Here are my references. Here are more references. Here's my design for a whistling shell. Here's my colleague. He'll stay on shore. Here's my hand. Will you take it? Sir, I like the cut of your jib. I think I will hire you. Ooh, but you are expensive. And you do increase my iron, though. We'll go with this one. Well, this is interesting. Room for improvement. There's always room for improvement. Wait, let me take notes. Paper. Appoint your new officer by dragging him from the officer's tab to the to his slide at the top of the screen. Do this in port, not at sea, or you may unsettle your crew. Officers. Gunnery officer. There we go. Mm, dang it. If you've done good work, the Admiralty will issue with a book of little chitties. This will exchange one point of Admiralty's favor for two to three fuel. Don't I have? Yeah, I have two. I need four. Takes three supplies. Alright, let's go with this. Employ Rattus Faber Engineers. The, rat, the rats of fallen London are remarkably skilled engineers, and they know ships well. They are not, however, reliable. Payment is in kind, not currency. Let's see, an unfortunate turn of events. 
Well, crap. <laughs> that's 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 what I needed. I mean, granted, you know, I did get uh, some of my hull repaired, so that's pretty cool. Kind of sucks that something bad happened. Rats sweep over your ship like a tide. Day and night, their tiny tools click. Your crew step over them cautiously. Unfortunately, some complex rat vendetta is at play here. Warring rat families decide to use your ship as a battleground. They're quite well behaved about it, and the damage is minimal, but an unfortunate passing sailor gets a rat bullet through the eye and drowns in the flames. You protest, but the contact is clear. There is an exception for ocular pertur er, perturbations. Perturbra perturbations? I don't know. I've lost five supplies. Nah, that's fine. That's that, that's fine. I did gain 17 hole though, so that's that's cool. <coughs> Let's go one more round. I gotta get it up. No, no, I won't. I need supplies, supplies. I can't afford supplies. Can't even afford fuel. Don't need fuel. And... Well, guys, I know that wasn't a lot of uh, progress for the first episode of Sunless Sea, but that is one of the uh, things about this game is it's kind of a slow-moving very story driven game not much action to it I'll try and pepper in some more action based games in between this at any rate thanks for watching and uh, make sure to hit the like share subscribe buttons and tell your friends about it and uh, I'll see you in the next episode of Sunless Sea